Expo is a JavaScript framework built on top of the React Native framework. It allows you to build React Native apps a lot faster. Just look at the official React Native.dev setup guide. Expo can get you writing a React Native app within minutes. If you want to use React Native CLI, you should expect to spend about an hour installing and configuring them. Already you can see that Expo lets you create an app in minutes, while traditional React Native will take you about an hour. Companies like Facebook, Walmart, Walmart and Airbnb are already using Expo in production so that their web developers can be native mobile developers too. And therein lies the beauty of Expo. Expo is so simple to use that web developers can be native mobile developers without much additional training. This is why I believe Expo.js is the future of app development. There's about 11 million React.js developers in the world as of 2022. That's more than all Android and iOS developers combined, which amounts to about 9 million developers. I began as a React.js web developer. I remember when I had no idea how easy it would be to learn React Native using Expo. I was scared to even try to learn app development. Mobile app development seemed like this mysterious thing that only the best of the best developers could learn. One day a client asked me to build them a mobile app. I had no choice. I had to learn app development. So as a React web developer, my first natural choice was React Native. And in the React Native documentation, they encouraged me to use Expo. So I tried it out and I was blown away to find how easy it was to learn. I think once React.js web developers learn how easy it is to transition to Expo development, I'm convinced Expo will be the most used framework in app development within the next five years. I've used a lot of app development frameworks and Expo is by far the simplest to learn and use. To create your first React Native Expo app, you can type npx create Expo app. In the app, you'll already notice some differences if you're used to cross-platform development. Normally in something like maybe Flutter or traditional React Native, something like that, you'd see folders over here for Android and iOS. You'll notice that with Expo, it's not even there. The reason is Expo really has got it set up to where all you need to do is write the code and then Expo will handle all the configuration for you. And when you're finished with your app and you're ready to create your app, you can just open up a terminal. You can use something called EAS build. You'll need to download the EAS CLI. But once you've done that, all you have to do is type EAS build, click return, follow the instructions, and Expo will build your apps for you. Once it's done building your app, it'll send you back a link in your terminal to your Android app and your iOS app. So just to show you how this works, you can just open up app.js. This is like the main file that uh, Expo is looking for. So this is where your app is located. If you're used to React development, the main difference between React and React Native is uh, instead of using JSX, like uh, maybe you would put like a div in here uh, or an H1 tag or a P tag. For Expo, React Native, there's a component for everything. So instead of saying H1 or a P tag, you would use the text component that's built into React Native and then type your text inside of it. And within your text component, you can style it the way they've done it here, where you create your styles down here in something called a style sheet. And by using these components, all your code will be transposed into native code, native Android or iOS code. There's really six main components you want to learn about, but with these six components, you can pretty much build anything. The first is style sheet text, view. There's something called text input. This is how you can create your inputs. There's also something called touchable opacity. This is how you would create a button. Wrap it around whatever you want to be a button. So for example, right here, we could say touchable opacity. We could put the text inside of that and we could say styles button. And then we could make this button look however we want. If we came down here and just said button, created that style, you could have something like a background color. I'll just say red. And I'll go ahead and give this a style of uh, text so that I can style the text. So I'll come down here and say text, and I'll give it a color of white. And you'll notice with React Native, everything is inline style based. So there's not a CSS file. And 
For font weight, I'll say 900. There's one last uh, component I wanted to let you know about. It's called flat list. A flat list will let you lazily uh, render objects on a page. You can think of it sort of like a map function. You can put data into it and it will lazily load the data so it won't take forever to load. If there's a lot of elements within an array, it'll just load some of them at a time so that your app runs faster. But basically, if you just look into style sheet, text, view, text input, touchable opacity, flat list, with that, you can pretty much build anything you want. The last package I'll tell you about before uh, showing you this app is for push notifications. You can go to nativenotify.com. It's free to sign up. You can click the sign up free button. There's no credit card required. But once you've installed Native Notify, you can import register in in push token from Native Notify. And all you have to do to have push notifications set up in your app is you'll import this function register in and push token. Here is where your app ID will go, which you'll get from nativenotify.com. And here is where your app token goes, which again, you get from nativenotify.com. And that's all you have to do to have push notifications set up in your Expo app. So the way you see your app is you can say NPX Expo start. In your terminal, this will pop up. I have an Android emulator open. Uh, but you could, there is something called Expo Go that you can download on the Android App Store or the iOS App Store. If you do that, you can scan this code to open the app up directly on your phone, or you can use an emulator like Android emulator. So if you want to do that, you can say A, and this is what your app looks like. And you'll notice this was opened up on the app Expo Go. Again, you can open this up on your phone directly if you want to see what it looks like on your Android or iOS phone. If you'd like to learn more about Expo, you can watch this video here. It's how to learn Expo in 47 minutes. Click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.